Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope you all are having an awesome day. So if you haven't noticed by the title of this video, I am excited guys because I am finally doing another round of empties. And guys, this thing is full. I have a lot of candles in here from Bath and Body Works. So this bag is super heavy, so I can't hold it up for too long. I don't want to make this intro very long. It's been about five months since I've done my empties. I'm going to have to separate this. So this is mostly Bath and Body Works, along with some liquid IV and a few other things that I threw in here. So this is kind of going to be my miscellaneous. I'm also going to have skincare and hair care and makeup coming up next. So stay tuned for those, but let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, so we'll start here with the liquid IV. If you guys don't know, I am an affiliate with liquid IV. I do have a discount code. It gives you 20% off. It's code Jackie Naturals. I love these things. My son loves these. My husband loves these. Um, RJ normally drinks these, especially when he goes to play basketball. So he really loves them. We go through them so fast. So this one is the watermelon flavor. One of my faves. This one is a tangerine. And guys, this is probably one of the first ones that I got. I must say this is probably my least favorite from Liquid IV. I just don't like the taste of the tangerine to me. I'm not a big tangerine eater anyway, so that's just me. Not a big fan of this one. I know RJ wasn't a big fan of this one either, so this is probably, like I said, our least favorite. But I do know a couple of you have commented that you like this flavor, so it this one is for immune support, so that is great, but they have a berry blend that I like actually a lot better. And I think I have it right here. Yes, this is the wild berry blend right here. I love this one way better. This is also an immune support, so love this one. Would highly recommend that one. We also have some lemon ginger. That is another one of my favorites. This one is energy. So it does have, um, it is comparable to one to two cups of coffee. Um, and it does have an energy blend with premium matcha. So this one is really, really good. RJ loves these energies. I don't like to let him drink it too much because it does give you um, energy. And But he does love them. And this is the mango tamarind. This one was really good too. I really enjoyed this one as well. Um, and the last one, I believe, is this one. It's another watermelon. It's the box. Um, really enjoy watermelon. That is one of my favorites, so highly recommend that. Um, I also have a perfume. It's a sample here from Jador. I know some of my girls have talked about Jador. Um, I used to wear this for many, many years. I kind of just forgot about it because I got into the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. But this one is a really, really great one. And on the topic of perfumes, I do have a few in here that I want to pull out. So let me do that really quick. So I do want to get into some other perfumes and these are them. And guys, if you haven't heard me, I have a whole playlist of Dossier. Love Dossier. Um, these are like comparable to other brands and it's like, I don't want to say dupe, but it's kind of like a dupe. I was an affiliate. I believe my code still works though. It is Jackie, J-A-C-K-I-E-E, -E, capital N, 10. I'll put it on the screen um, and also put the link in the description box if you want to check it out. This one was comparable to Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. As you can see, I couldn't get anything else out of this. I love Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. So this was really, really nice. I don't know if I can smell it. It smells so good. So, so good. And it does tell you the notes on here. So the top notes are green apple, lime, and cedric. The middle notes are bluebell, jasmine, and rose. And the base notes are amber, cedarwood, and musk. Love this. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, also, guys, I forgot to mention this top is magnetic. I love that. It's very sleek. Um, just packaging, but I love the magnetic top. So I did take it on some trips with me. Um, the next one is Fruity Oak Moss, and this is, oh, I can't remember which one this is a dupe for. I try to write the names under so I can kind of tell. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, Aventus. Um, I think this might be a dupe for the Creed Aventus. Aventus. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong, but this one smells so, so good. It's called Fruity Oak Moss. So good, guys. The top notes are green apple, bergamot, lemon. The middle notes are peach, rose, ylang ylang. And the base notes are musk, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. And I believe this might be the one that I let my husband borrow. And he was using this one, and he just killed it. So, yeah, this one was a very, very nice one. I love this one. And then the last one is floral lavender. And I think this was a dupe for YSL Libre, if I can read this properly. And this, again, is a bottle. The top notes are Mandarin, Neroli, and Black Currant. The middle notes are Jasmine, Lavender, Orange Blossom. The base notes are Vanilla, Amber, and Musk. And it smells so good. Smell, I mean, when I say these smell so 
good. They smell so good. I think my husband was wearing this one, the YSL Libre. Um, but these are actually really great. I need to put these aside because I think I want to repurchase these. Um, they range, I believe it was like $40 to something compared to the prices of some of these. Like YSL is super expensive. I think it was like $69. So definitely check these out. Like I said, I'll leave my link down below. Um, one other like kind of random thing I just wanted to kind of um, talk about it. This is the Aleve Roll-On. Um, as you guys don't know, I have rheumatoid arthritis, so I get a lot of swelling. Um, and this definitely does help. It also has like the little, um, the massaging balls, I guess you could say stainless steel. This is the actual packaging here. And these are the balls, so they kind of help. Um, you just rub it on the spot, and it does help me a lot. So I definitely do like this. This is the empty one, and I already have a backup, guys, so definitely would repurchase this. Um, everything I've showed you guys so far, I would definitely repurchase. Like I said, the Liquid IV, the Tangerine was my least favorite, but everything else I love, guys. Um, so highly recommend these. So now, we are going to get into nothing but... Um, Bath and Body Works. So I have the bag here. I'm going to have to pull from it because it's just a lot of stuff right now. And I paid for all this Bath and Body Works stuff myself, guys. It is not sponsored or anything like that. So we're going to start out with the candle. This is Cucumber Melon. They regularly run like $24.95 a lot. I never pay that price, guys. I always, always, always get them on sale. I've refused to spend $25 on a candle. But this one was really nice. I love this packaging. It smells really really good um the notes was crisp cucumber watery honeydew summer cantaloupe sparkling grapefruit sheer woods with natural essential oils it smells really good i would definitely buy this again i also got the hand soap in this one and i really did like it i don't know if it's in the empties but i love it um it's so funny this is another cucumber melon this is a sanitizing spray love the smell of this too definitely will be buying more and have lots and lots more this one is the champagne toast this is a cleansing gel hand soap with natural essential oils um this the notes are bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine love these i keep these in my bathroom i tried them out recently fell in love and i've been buying them ever since i just love bath and body works guys i have a lot and i always forget to show you guys and this time i said i'm going to make sure and put them to the side so you can see i really do love my candles um this one is white gardenia and tiki beach here is the packaging here the notes are classic white gardenia, fresh picked greenery, warm vanilla musk, toasted coconut with natural essential oils. This one smells really good too. Now, I do want to mention, there's one thing I don't like about Bath & Body Works candles. For me, they never burn all the way down. Um, it kind of like stops here and it irks my nerve. I do have like a warming plate. Um, I bought it on Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it down below or one of the ones like I have because I don't think it's still available. It was like $22, but I don't feel like you get much of a scent from it, but at least I don't feel like I'm wasting my candles. Um, so I do tend to like pour it in and that's why it looks like this because I poured it into another candle and I'll show you what that kind of looks like. So it kind of ends up like this. So this candle is empty. This is a whole bunch of scents. I just kind of pour them in. Once they get to that low part, I use my warming plate um, and just pour it in. So at least I don't feel like I'm wasting them. But after a while, of course, I do throw them away um, because then it has so many scents in here like this one. But this one was used up too. This is Champagne Toast, another one of my favorites. So it has like, you can't even smell anything at this point. To be honest, I don't even smell anything, but this was all leftovers from other ones, okay? So just pouring them in there that did not get finished, but definitely would repurchase all of these thus far. Um, the next one is Rose Water and Ivy and Mahogany Teakwood. This is a deep cleansing hand soap. I did like this one too. The notes are rich mahogany, black teakwood, and soft rose petals scented with notes of rose water and ivy. I love rose water and ivy. That's one of my favorite, um, along with champagne toast. Those are my favorite scents. So highly, highly recommend. Um, it did have a little manly smell to me with the mahogany teakwood. So if you don't like it too feminine, this probably would be a good one. But I actually did like it when I was washing my hands. So... This is another one. This one is Twisted Peppermint. Great for the holidays. The notes are Cool Peppermint, Sugar Snow, and Fresh Balsam. Definitely a good one. Um, also, I did get some of their wildflower, wallflowers, and I did like this. This is Watermelon Lemonade. Um, the notes is Watermelon Ice, Sparkling Water, Meyer Lemon with Natural Essential Oils. This was really nice, too. I definitely want to get some more. Again, only buy these on sale, guys. I do not pay full price. Um, this is cucumber and lily. This was another nice one. The notes are fresh cucumber, green tea, and lily of the valley. 
the next one and have a lot is blue sky breeze and this smell kind of like oceany but i will say it kind of was probably not one of my favorite favorites um probably wouldn't reach out to go buy this again the notes are morning spring air fresh violet petals crisp gala apples english ivy with natural essential oils it was okay kind of like i just wasn't the biggest biggest fan of that one um the next one and i love this one this one is tiki beach this is kind of like my niece bought me that one of these and i fell in love i actually bought it when i found it on sale and it's a warm vanilla musk orchids toasted coconut with natural essential oils it smells really good i love this super cute packaging it was so cute so love this one very very nice would definitely recommend that one and i'm running out of space here guys okay so this oh coco paradise sorry that is the one that she got me coco paradise and it smells so good i really love it so there you can see i finished it all up and the notes are salted coconut manoi sugar neroli bronze sandalwood and natural essential oils really really nice um this is another one where i poured a whole bunch of different scents in there guys these the candles are gone but this is sweater weather it is one of my favorites but it's becoming one of my latter favorites like not so much anymore um the notes are fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic, eucalyptus, fresh woods with natural essential oils. Okay, and I have about six more, so we're almost done. I think it's five, actually. This is another one where I poured a whole bunch into them. You see what I mean? They kind of just, this is how much they end up building up even more so, and it's, it's like up to here. So yeah, this is Twisted Peppermint again. I told you about this one already, so I won't read it again for time purposes because I don't want this to get too long, but this one is a nice one um the other one is rose water and ivy definitely one of my faves would highly recommend the pink was super cute and the notes are soft rose petals rain kissed english ivy lemon blossom soft spring musk with natural essential oils this one smells so good it definitely smells like rose so if you don't like rose you will not like this but i'm not a big fan of rose but i love the smell of this candle it just makes the house smell so good when i walk in and smell it so love that one um, this one is Frosted Cranberry. Another one great for the holidays. Smells amazing. Um, it's Ice Cranberries, Blonde Woods, Red Apple, Tonka Bean with Natural Essential Oils. And some of them I had the caps on them and I just took the cap off this and it smells so good. Yes, this smells great with the, that cranberry scent. Um, this one here is Sweater Weather. Once again, I love that packaging. Super cute for the holidays. Um, it's fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic, eucalyptus, fresh woods with natural essential oils. Again, this one I do like and I do smell it. Um, it does really have it does have that cozy smell. I don't know, it just kind of stopped being my favorite, but it's not bad at all. I still like it. I still would get it if they had it on sale because I know this is one that I do like. I'm just not as wow about it as I used to be. And the last one is another one of the Cocoa Paradise. Like I said, this is the one that my niece had got me for my birthday. I really loved it. I ended up buying another one when they had them on sale. So Yes, it smells so good. Really, really like this one. So guys, that is all. Again, this is my first set of empties. This is kind of like my random empties. I do have some other things, but I kind of just kept them separate. So I'll bring the skincare or the hair care next. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any favorites from Bath and Body Works, definitely let me know. If you want to check out Liquid IV, I'll leave my discount below. If you want to check out Dossier, I will leave my discount below as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give your girl a thumbs up. So subscribe down below and press that bell button so you're notified of any future videos and I will see you all in my next one. Bye you guys!